There's one key message at the Democratic convention that's just not in dispute. We are the Big Ten party. We represent everyone. We're definitely the arms wide open party. We are the party of inclusion. We have just about everybody you can possibly imagine in the party. Yes, they were open to everybody. Basically, we're Latinos, Hispanics, we're Blacks, we're the LGBT community, we're women, we're poor. Everyone's welcome. Every, everyone's welcome. Except? Except unless you own a corporation, or if you're a hunter, a gun yeah. owner, Ugh. white males. Really, all you, you want to lose all the uh, white males? There are a bunch of gun-toting hillbilly tea partiers, that's all I have to say. Bang, 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 bang. Right. Bunch of jerk-offs, right? Definitely. Uh, how open are you? Well, open enough to include everybody. Oh, really? Who wouldn't you include? We wouldn't include those uh, beer-toting fakers down in Florida. The, the, the Tampa Convention guys. You know the types. Pot-bellied. Church-going. Small-minded. A Anti-science. A bunch of 70 Sam hillbilly. Whack job, evangelical, gun nuts. They don't want to hear a message of difference and of hope. What can you and I teach these whack jobs about inclusion? You go first. You can't teach them anything. Don't have a clue about science. Very questionable on any kind of uh, thought that involves more than two or three sentences. We are the Big Ten Party, and we will let most anybody in, unless, of course, they're carrying guns. Right. Who needs that 146 million people in your party? The Democratic Party, we don't stereotype, we don't generalize. The teabaggers generalize because they're very narrow-minded people. Right. This has been, historically, the party of tolerance. The okay. teabaggers are the least tolerant group I have ever seen. Right. And they're destroying us. Can you say that more dismissively? Ugh. How's that? I've always called them Nazis and evil, even before it was appropriate, actually. These Christian evangelicals don't get it because I don't believe they ever actually read the Bible. I have a feeling they have read it. Well, possibly, but didn't no, grasp more than, the... No, more than, more than possibly. This is so inclusive. You know, we even invite the redneck freaks in. We don't judge. What don't they get about tolerance? I would never call a redneck a name. I'm thinking like a couple of teeth, you know, okay. hair out of place, maybe a nice gut. Okay, like, like woo! Yes. Yeah, we're gonna go down to Tampa and we're gonna throw a big party. I'm gonna put on my clean t shirt and brush my tooth. Let's go! Pew, pew! Do it. Pew, pew! The world would be very beautiful if we could just accept everybody's differences. Exactly, accept everyone's differences. Mm -hmm. Everyone's differences. Yes. We need to accept everyone. You mean I should accept them? Is that what you're saying? The conventions are in full swing. And the race is on to see who's going to win the news war. We have the best political team on television here. And the best political coverage anywhere. The best political team in the business. Maybe the 24-hour snooze networks haven't heard that the DS was in town. Time to introduce these fools to the new Alpha Dome. Have a taste, Cooper, because we own this convention, and you and all your boys are fresh meat. Look down on my news, ye mighty, and despair. <laughs> I will now sign autographs. What are you, a delegate? No, I'm a guest. Oh, what kind of guest? Special guest. Oh my god, a special guest. Yes. You walked down by yourself? Yes. Oh, yay! Good for you. You should be very proud of yourself, Eddie. What do you look forward to not accomplishing this year in Congress? What kind of question, Jeff? If you, if you saw a fellow delegate littering or doing something that was not very green, how would you handle it? Well, I would stop them and ask them to pick it up. That sounds like a Democrat to me. Yes. Demonstration. Demo. I don't feel like recycling this ass. Pick it up, please. F you. Pick it up, please. Suck my
You're going to ask me a question? I'm sorry, I thought you were going to ask me a question. You... I'm Obama delegate from the state of Michigan. You know what? This is boring. I don't want to talk to this turd. Hey, Sam, losers are part of this convention too. Oh, just shut up, Jason. Just an ass. Sam, do we really want to go on through with this? Hey, ladies and gentlemen, I'm old. I don't. You were going to ask me a question? I thought you wanted to ask me. You thought I wanted to ask you a question? Yes. That's why why in the hell would I want to ask you a question? Hi. Yeah, what's that? Do you have a credential? Uh, I'm with BBC. You're with BBC? Uh, well, I'm British, so I, I, I think I'm allowed to know. I'm British. Yeah, I guess you don't need a credential to be British. This, my, my voice is my credential. <laughs> Listen to this. Aluminium. Let me in. Now the question is, what are Hillary Clinton supporters? This is, I'm telling you, my voice is my credential. It will... Oh, you are kidding me. You're kidding me. All right, you ready for us now? No, I'm not ready for you. Oh! Question number one. No! Don't blow this. Don't away. blow this. Don't blow this interview. I'll blow you. This? Who are you to blow him? Senator Biden. Oh, I, I like you see him. this. Yeah, it looks pretty good. I'll be taking that. I want some more by 3.30, you got me? Oh, yeah. We're not just reporting the news. We are the news. Oh, oh my. Oh, my. Oh, my. That's what I call an AC 360. That's how we roll, son. This week's Democratic convention became the center of the media universe, a universe ruled by television. Is there anything that you would like to say to our audience of infidels? Uh, Who'd you have to get in here? Tons of people. But there were other forms of media, too, like newspapers. Bob Woodward, kind of a dick. No, great guy. Let's pretend the camera's not running. Woodward's kind of a dick. Woodward um, is somebody who knows how to get people to talk. He also knows how to I know guys people... like that, dicks. He's a dick. What's the deal with Ziggy? Ziggy? Yeah. I mean, is Tom Wilson just phoning it in these days, or what? I don't know. We, we never make up stuff. Wasn't there a guy who made up a bunch of stuff? Well, we're going to talk about Jason Blair. That, that was not under my watch as managing editor. What section does he work for now? No, he, he's gone from the Times. Kathy's a pretty good comic. It's yeah, got I know. the girl. I on and, Sunday. Oh, yeah. I yeah, yeah, Sunday. Well, yeah. Mondays are terrible. Thank yeah. God it's Friday. I read, I'm it, fat. I read it on Sunday and I get a yeah. kid. Yeah. It's good. It's good. Yeah, it's good. She's yeah. good. I hang it up in my cube. And then there's radio. Liberal media to me is the New York Times and the Washington Post and the ABC, CBS, Oh my NBC. God, those guys might as well be wearing a dress. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> when you were a kid, did you always want to be a, a radio talk show host? No. Mm. You want me to turn down the volume? I don't know, maybe your equipment's acting up. Could be. Mm. Your mouth's mm. moving, though. Mm. They like it. Can you hold this? Yeah. I'm not quite sure what the problem is, but we're just... You know, That's much better. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, okay, keep going. And finally getting a seat at the table, internet bloggers. Are any of the big name bloggers here? Uh, a lot of uh, the higher, or mostly red bloggers have been around. Atrio's talk, uh, Josh Marshall writes Talking Points, Dave Weiner. Okay, no, no, I'm talking about the big time bloggers, the big time. Top tier, are they here? They are the top tier. Uh, Koss. Who else? Oh, Koss? Yeah. Koss is here? Yeah. Where are they? He's been around. No, uh, no, no. Where? I think he's in the front row, too. Really? Koss! He's distracted. Hi. Hi. Do you think that the Democratic National Committee has treated the nerds, and by nerds I mean you, well? As well as nerds can be treated, yeah. Oh, uh, well, they don't like him, so they gotta... You gotta hold it up like that. Is that right? Right there? So, he's gotta reinvent himself. No. Overall, one thing's for sure. As journalists, the most rewarding part of the week was being among our peers. Do you think the Democrats have successfully put their agenda out there during this convention? Yeah, Baba Booey, Baba Booey. Howard Stern is king of all media, Baba Booey, Baba Booey. 